Hi friends, someone collects stamps, someone coins. I'm also a collector. I collect mainly transistors of the Soviet Union era, but not all transistors in a row, only types of cases. Why? I like their appearance, shape, size. Now almost everything is standardized and nowadays it is impossible to meet some brutal and interesting radio components, but in the old days, the imagination of designers knew no bounds. I think all of you have come across the popular P210 transistor, certainly one of the best in its time. It is bipolar PMP structure germanium transistor with a collector current of as much as 12 amps and a constant power dissipation at the collector of 60 watts. This high power transistor has found wide application in many electronic devices. Do you want your homemade products to be the same as the factory ones? Then you need high quality printed circuit boards, which PCBWay will produce for you at affordable prices. Just download the source Gerber files from the company's website, select the options you need, pay for the order, and soon your boards will be ready. The complexity, number of layers, and board sizes can be anything. PCBWay often holds contests and sweepstakes. Follow the news to keep track of the events. We were personally convinced of the quality. Try it too. The link is in the description. In the late 50s and early 60s of the last century, constructors didn't stop there. They wanted something more powerful and they created this. It seems nothing unusual, but until you put the same P210 next to it or just take it in your hands. Get to know His Majesty the largest transistor of the USSR P208. In addition to being the largest that is also very rare since they were produced for only about three years. I was looking for this transistor for a very long time. There were suggestions, but the states of the copies didn't satisfy. Just a few years ago, such transistors were sold from $25 to $40, but now they have risen in price. Taking this opportunity, I'd like to thank Yuri for his help in purchase this monster. These days, for a good working sample with minimal scratches, they can ask from $100 to $325. Again, it all depends on the state, how well the inscriptions are preserved, how much the paint has peeled off, and whether the transistor works at all. This is perhaps one of the few Soviet transistors that really has a collectible value. How much did I pay for it? I will not disclose this information as you will think I'm crazy. Let's go back to our transistor. By the way, it isn't the only one in such housing. There are at least P207 and P320. It weighs impressively 200 grams and its full diameter is more than 6 cm. The diameter of the cap is about 4.5 cm and the total height, taking into account the hard pins, is almost 4 cm, a mutant of some kind. The kit includes a mount. This is a native mount for the P210. I forgot to point out that the transistor is fully operational. The main characteristics, despite the huge size, are very modest, but for that time they were simply fantastic. Collector emitter voltage is 60 volts. Collector current 25 amps. Power dissipated by the collector 100 watts. Current gain more than 15. Approximate operating temperature range from minus 60 to plus 85 degrees Celsius. They were produced for a short time because were originally designed poorly, to put it mildly. In fact, the P208 is a kind of Frankenstein with an abnormally large body and two crystals from the P210 on board. The crystals are connected in parallel and it is clear that they couldn't have completely identical characteristics, especially when it comes to germanium crystals and the period when the technologies were far from being ideal. In fact, it turned out that one of the crystals failed due to the uneven distribution of currents. It is an extremely bad idea to connect crystals in parallel without any current equalization nodes. That is why such transistors were doomed from the beginning. 
Later, in the USSR, transistors of much higher power were made, but everything was already good there. If you need a lot of power, you increase the size of the crystal and didn't connect them in parallel. In general, P208 was a mistake, but that's what made it unique. It was unique in everything, both in size and appearance, an undescribable feeling when you first take it in your hands. Of course, there are larger transistor assemblies now, but these models consist of numerous crystals, including diodes, and it is wrong to compare them with P208. Today, I would like to share with you this rarity and at the same time show how it looks so that you feel the full power of that era. Please rate this video and share with your friends. If you like reviews of retro technology, then in the description you will find a link to a whole playlist with a bunch of such videos. Today that's all and I say goodbye until next time. With you was Kaysian TV.